Publishing and book marketing scams are everywhere on the web. This video isn't meant to scare you. Rather, its purpose is to provide you with information that will protect you and your wallet from the scam artists. There are a number of consequences associated with publishing a book. One of them is that you are now swimming in a sea swarming with sharks, otherwise known as scam artists. And you can run into the sharks even before your book is published. Scam artists proliferate on the web. Being warned about them means you are armed to protect yourself. How do they find you? You may have announced on social media that you finished your book. You may have visited one or more sites run by the scammer. If you started a web page and bought a URL, the personal information you use to get the URL is public and anyone can access it. In some cases, you may have requested help or information from the scammer. There are many ways the scammers can find you, but this is especially true after the book is published and available on sites like Amazon. That is when the marketing scams start. I'll talk about the types of scams I've come across in my years of publishing and marketing. Let's discuss the type of potential scams that you can come across as you prepare your book for publishing. Vanity presses are actually book publishers, but if you are not wary, you may fall into their clutches. Freelancers are people you can hire to work on part of your book. Editors and cover artists are included in this category. With the service companies, you turn over all the responsibility for your book and they will take care of it. For a fee. A large fee. These service companies are actually an alternative to self-publishing. They are also akin to having a traditional publishing house buy your book. The difference between the service companies, self-publishing, and traditional publishing is the fees. Service companies will charge you large, very large fees, and the fees have to be paid up front. The major concern here is that many of the publishing service companies are vanity press houses in disguise. Before making a decision to use one of these companies, run a web search for publishing service companies and run another for hybrid publishers. Before committing to any publishing company, make sure you do all of the tasks in the slide. Using a publishing service company will require spending thousands of dollars. Before committing, do research on the company and its offers. Marketing may have even more scammers than the publishing process. So let's look at what I found. I'll discuss three scams in this part of the video. These are websites that will sell your book by providing a place where readers can find and purchase it. These are secondary sites, but it's fine to use them. You may sell an occasional book there. Here's a horror story I came across. I found this good looking site that offered to sell my books. It paid 70% royalties, which is good. But further digging led to these facts. First, it only paid out after you accumulated $100 in royalties. So if you sell two books a year here, priced at $2.99, it'll be 25 years before you accumulate $100. Second, to put a book on the site costs $100 per year, per book. The astonishing thing to me was how many books were displayed on the site. This is an example of why you have to read all the fine print. Blog tours are a good way to spread the word about your book. Good blog tour operators will get you on sites that receive a lot of traffic and hence a lot of people will see your guest posts which will promote your book. They are expensive to commission, and therefore are a good opportunity for scammers to make money from authors. What the scammers do is to create up to 20 new blog sites to use in the blog tours. The scam here is that you are paying for visits to blog sites that receive no traffic. Hence, no one sees your blog posts. This is fairly a common post that you'll come across on social media sites. It's aimed primarily at authors who need to increase their reach, that is, the number of people who see their posts. 
These so-called followers will be bots, fake accounts, or people who have no interest in you or your book and are working with the scammer. The second case works in similar fashion. 50 people who haven't read the book will post five-star ratings on a site like Goodreads. These are three basic protections you should always exercise when looking for help. A few final words of caution. Be vigilant. Be suspicious. Don't be shock bait.